Daniel Sports Center. We go over March Madness game preview and prediction on the final four matchup between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Villanova Wildcats. Both teams have had an outstanding run getting to this point in the tournament. You got Kansas, who's the one seed, the final one seed in this tournament. They won the Midwest region, and they're facing off against Villanova, the two seed, who's the champion of the South region. Should make for a good matchup, and the winner goes to the national title game. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup for today, starting out with your team trends. Kansas, 32-6 and six overall, heading into this matchup, 14-4 and four in conference this season and 6-4 and four in games against the top 25 versus Villanova, who's got a 30-7 and seven overall record, 16-4 and four in conference this season, and 8-5 and five in games against the top 25. So both teams, it's very clear how tough the schedules have been. I mean, for Kansas, they've played 10 ranked opponents over the course of the season. And if you think 10's a lot, look at Villanova. They played 13 ranked opponents over the course of this season, which is, I think, one of, if not the highest, uh, number of ranked teams played in, in one season or for this season. So, I mean, it's... I mean, both teams have played a lot of great teams over the course of the season, and for the most part, uh, both teams have had some good success against those high-caliber opponents. And, I mean, that's clearly shown by Kansas being a one-seed in this tournament and Villanova being a two-seed. Games will be on Saturday, April 2nd in New Orleans, and your tip-off is 6.09 p.m. Eastern. Spreads going Kansas here by 4. Over-under is 133, and the BPI is going Villanova here, 51.3%. Um, so Kansas is favored in the spread, but the BPI disagrees going with Villanova in pretty much what is a coin toss, 51%. And your tournament runs for both these teams. Kansas beat Texas Southern uh, pretty handily in the first round, 83-56. to 56. They beat Creighton, um, a nine seed in the second round by seven, beat Providence by five in the Sweet 16, and beat Miami in what turned out to be a blowout. 76-50 to 50 was the final score there. And that game was very interesting. Miami actually led the Jayhawks at halftime, uh, which, was, which was a shocker. And it looked like Kansas could have potentially been in trouble going into halftime, but turns out the Hurricanes, I mean, I don't know what happened in the second half. Kansas, they got hot in the second half, and they ended up uh, blowing out the Hurricanes by 26. I mean, I think Miami scored like 14 points or something in that um, in that second half, which is insane, and Kansas had like nearly 50. So that makes a big difference when you can get on a hot streak in Kansas. This is a team that is dangerous with that. I mean, when, when they can get hot on offense, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough to keep up, that's for sure. And for Villanova, Beat Delaware in the first round, 80 to 60. Beat Ohio State by 10 um, in the second round, and beat Michigan by eight in the Sweet 16. And beat Houston in what was a defensive, low-scoring match at 50 to 44 um, in the Elite Eight. So both teams have played some great teams down the stretch. I mean, both teams played. I mean, Kansas played Miami, who was very hot. I mean, Houston defensively was one of the best teams in the tournament for sure. And I mean, so yeah, both teams have had great runs getting to this point. Here's your stat comparison. Kansas, 70.6 points a game this season, 68.1 allowed. And the BPI rank is eight versus Villanova, who's got 72.6 points a game, 63.1 allowed. And their BPI rank is six. So um, it does explain why the Wildcats are slightly favored in this matchup in the BPI um, is because Villanova's BPI rank is higher than Kansas is up right now, uh, with the Wildcats being at six versus Kansas, who's at eight. I mean, for both sides here, you got you got some positives on both teams. Kansas offensively is a better team than Villanova. And then I would say Villanova defensively is the better team versus Kansas, uh, which definitely is something to take note here. I mean, in the tournament like this, I mean, offensively, that's really where, I mean, offense isn't always as consistent as defense, for example. I mean, Kansas, you, you, I mean, you saw in that first half against Miami. I mean, Kansas struggled to hit their, uh, to hit their threes and hit their shots and, I mean, then it kind of looked like they were in trouble going into the second half. But in that second half, uh, Kansas got on fire, and they ended up scoring nearly 50 points in that second half, leading them to a 26-point win over the Hurricanes. So, I mean, offensively, I mean, I would say Kansas is the better team. That can uh, that can definitely lead them to a win here. But, I mean, Villanova's defense certainly is, I would say, better versus Miami's. Some key points for this one. Kansas, of course, 32-6 overall, coming off of a huge win against the Hurricanes offensively. They've been outstanding all season, obviously, and, I mean, they are a very consistent team and the final one seed standing, and that's, I mean, there's a reason why Kansas is a one seed in this tournament. And, I mean, yeah, they're incredibly consistent. That's, I mean, that's a reason why I thought from the start Kansas would be a team to uh, to definitely keep an eye on was because of, uh, of, of how consistent this team is, and that's huge. Going into a tournament like this is, I mean, if you can play your games consistently and uh, I mean, that's that's massive coming into a tournament where even if you slip up once, uh, you're out of the tournament. And for Villanova, they've been outstanding the entire tournament, no doubt. I mean, there were some question marks about the, the Wildcats coming into this tournament, whether or not they would make a deep run. 
um, or whether they were potentially the weakest two seed. And that, there were talks about that with Kansas too, potentially the, um, the Jayhawks being the, the weakest one seed, but here they are both in the final four. And Villanova, the thing is about this team, they rarely make mistakes. They're incredibly well coached. They're the best free throw shooting team in the country and one of the best free throw shooting teams of all time. And so, I mean, it's huge because if you go up against, say, opponent, I mean, if you go up against Kansas and, for example, Villanova's up by five on Kansas with 30 seconds left and Kansas has to start fouling, good luck because Villanova's uh, free throw shooting is outstanding and it's, I mean, they rarely miss at the free throw line. So that's huge, um, especially in a close game and a late game situation. So, and I mean, they rarely make mistakes. They hardly get into foul trouble. That's also massive too. And they're excellent on both sides of the ball to um, to say that as well. I mean, both teams, this is a tough one here because both teams are very capable of winning this game. Both teams are definitely worthy of being in this point. And I actually picked Kansas to be in the final four. I did pick Arizona over Villanova to get to this point back on selection Sunday. I will admit that. But I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that Villanova could make a deep run just based off of how well um, of, a, of a coach team this team is. And they've got some good experience as well. Dealing with a couple of injuries, but Villanova in the end, I feel like is a team that certainly uh, could win this matchup and could outright win the national title too. But that said, let's get to the prediction here for Kansas and Villanova coming up here in the final four. I'm going to go with the Wildcats here to get the win. 68 to 64 is my predicted final score. And this is a tough one, as tough as it gets. I mean, you got Villanova, who's an outstanding team, extremely well coached going up against a Kansas team that is offensively one of the best in the nation. They've got tremendous talent. Uh, but in the end, I think Villanova here, I like how this team is is looking in this tournament there. I mean, they've got some great leadership. They've got a lot of great experience. And I mean, it's really shown in this tournament Villanova and how how tough of a team this is going to be to uh, to beat. And I feel like for Kansas, they are very capable. I mean, especially after that Miami win, we saw how Kansas played in that second half of that Miami game. And they looked, I mean, they were, they were going lights out on the Hurricanes. And if they play that way the entire game against Villanova, I mean, there is a very good chance the Jayhawks do win this game. But in the end, I, I just don't see if that happens. I think Villanova's defense um, does is able to put up, uh, is, is able to do well against this Kansas offense. And in the end, I'm going to go with the Wildcats to get the win in a close one. 68-64 is my predicted final score. I'm going to go 55% towards the Wildcats. Your under is 133. I'll take the under for this game and the Wildcats to cover the spread, which is currently four points towards Kansas. Uh, but in the end, once again, this is a tough one. Both teams have had outstanding runs getting to this point. So despite what happens, I mean, it'd be a huge disappointment for both these teams to lose in the final four, uh, just because of how talented both teams are and how worthy both teams are of, of winning this tournament for sure. But I'm going to go with Villanova here to proceed on to the national title. Let me know your thoughts and comments below on this game, and I appreciate you guys are watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.